So put that stuff in your uh, documents. Make sure that the black and white is as simple as day and stick to it. All right, if there's any changes, do an addendum, right? Make sure that you have something that backs up uh, what the changes are. Your vendor relationships are going to be critical in making sure that you get through a project successfully, uh, on time, um, within budget, all right? It's one thing to always have that to be able to go back. I don't know what this is, so I'm not going to turn it towards the camera. Papers everywhere in my car, all right? But to be able to say... If that's your opinion, and I know what my opinion is, but this is our contract. That is golden. You want that. You want to be able to make sure, yes, I'm getting on the webinar. I just got a text. You want to make sure that you are absolutely able to go back to that contract. All right. Another thing that's good with vendor relationships is the actual relationship, right? I've had, I have some vendor relationships that I deal with. And I tell you guys, I don't like them as people, all right? They're just not people that I would sit down and have a beer with, all right? Because I maybe don't like the way they conduct business per se, or maybe I've seen some ways that they dealt with other customers, uh, but maybe they do a very good job, a decent job, and they do it for a decent price. So I've made the decision to do business with them again. But I like doing people, I like doing business with people that I actually have a relationship with. I like to do business with people that when we get done with work, we can go out for a beer. I think that's critically important, not just being able to go out for a beer, but coffee or whatever it is that you consume. But I think it's important that you have a relationship with your vendors, because what I want to know is I want to know that I can trust you. All right. Sometimes it's not all about the dollar. All right. I want to know that if my project is in your hands, it's in good hands. And that's the reality. I want to know that if I leave a couple extra tools there, they're safe. I want to know that if one of my guys leaves some extra tools there, they're safe, all right? It's not just the material things, but it's the moral things as well, ethical things. It's, it's the common sense things, right? Are you making the best decisions, excuse me, that's going to benefit both of our businesses and, and definitely enhance our business relationships, all right? And the last thing I want to say when you're dealing with vendors is make sure their documentation is straight. Right. There is nothing that sucks more than getting hemmed up for a situation that you had no control over. Your main responsibility was oversight. And the moment something slipped, you're held liable. All right. Just make sure everybody has their documentation, the proper insurance requirements, and they meet all those demands. So that way you can have a successful project. So vendor relationships is critically important. I'm getting towards that time limit. I just wanted to hop on live, give that a quick check, give y'all something that was on my mind from an appointment I just had, or I'm sorry, coffee I just had with one of my uh, partners. Um, super excited for everything that's happening. Concept Legacy, Legacy Fund, Concept Marketing Group, Concept Properties One. It's all in the concept. I'm super, super excited. We got a big announcement coming next week, um, dealing with something on the realty side of the business. All right. Um, and then, of course, you know, just making sure that we continue to grow and empower like minds. All right. I'm Mr. J. Howard. I'm excited. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully this will help you grow in the right direction.